Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Photoshop scripting tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how you can save and export or basically save as your document and export it in various formats with various custom settings you choose inside of Photoshop. There are two main methods we're going to be going over, the save as and the export document methods. Each of these requires slightly different arguments, so we're going to be going over what these uh, methods are as well as the arguments they take and the data type that each of those arguments requires. Before we get started, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice a week within the channel and down in the description you can check out uh, the GitHub link for coding updates where I upload lots of useful code to help you out. Also check us out on AE Scripts where I upload free and paid plugins and scripts to help improve your workflow. You can help support us there. Also follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of the Discord server, make sure you come and join and help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, hang out with our knowledgeable members, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. This comes with uh, Discord status as well as really cool perks like uh, code in advance, VIP streams, and much more. All right, so let's first go over the save as uh, method here. All you have to do is reference a document. So in my case, I could say var document is equal to app.project.activedocuments. Uh, and this, as per usual, will grab the active document that is open here in Photoshop. Uh, now, the save as operation is quite obviously something that already exists in the menu, but uh, scripting gives us a bit more control over exactly how we want to do that. So we have several arguments here for the dot save as method. First off, we have the save in. This is going to be a file type object. So we're going to create a file object, and I want to go ahead and create a file that doesn't exist because it's going to represent what the saved file is going to be. In my case here, I have this testing folder on my desktop. So I'll refer to that. Go ahead and use this kind of slash. And then the name of my exported file, I'll just call test.psd. And then you obviously, I think, could choose different options. So if we go to save as, we have PNG and all these. So actually let's select like a, a JPEG format. And then that's going to be, um, this needs to be our variable. So I'll just call it save in since my uh, argument is already called that. Save in, this needs to be a file. So we now have a file that hasn't been created yet, but it's still a file object, whether it exists or not uh, on our desktop called test JPEG. Uh, then we have options. Now options seems to be a bit, um, arbitrary. Looking inside of the actual uh, extend script documentation for this, if I go to documents and scroll down to save as, here it says the options can be any. So these are sort of, I guess, custom options that could have to do with uh, different save options. If you have any example code, post it down below in the comments and uh, I'll maybe include that in a future video. But basically, uh, this option section you can leave null i believe should be fine uh so i'll just say null and then we have as copy this is true or false a bool of whether we want to create a new copy of this file or false if we want to basically just overwrite whatever file this is going to so in my case let's just make sure we always have a unique one and call true and then lastly we have extension type this is whether the file extension in this case jpeg is going to be uh specifically formatted to be no formatting, lowercase formatting, or uppercase formatting. And I'm not sure if this is only on Mac. The argument says Mac extension type. So let's go ahead and use one of these enumerations. Let's try three uppercase and uh, see if that gives us a result we like. So hopefully this will work. We have document.save as, our save in location, null for our options, true to save as a copy, and the enumeration three, or uppercase of our JPEG file extension. If we go ahead and run this in Photoshop, first thing we're getting is undefined is not an object at line four, app.project.activedocument. And this is my fault for being so used to After Effects scripting. It just needs to be app.activedocument. There is no project reference. The document is the project in this case. So we'll run it again in Photoshop. And now we're getting an error in our fourth argument, which is our enumeration. Um, I think instead of this int, actually, we need to provide lowercase. If I run this, 
lowercase is undefined. So let me look back in the guide real quick at this Mac extension type and see if we can identify. Ah, yes, yes, yes. It needs Mac extension type dot that. Um, I guess it's not as much like C++ where you can just use the enumeration. So in this case, I'm going to say Mac extension type dot uppercase. You could also say Mac extension type dot lowercase or none. So save this, relaunch it. And now it's saying Mac extension type is undefined. So perhaps this is only available for Macs. Maybe it shoots an error on PC. If you have a Mac, let me know. Um, for now, uh, we don't really need that much control over the file extension. So I'm just going to say no. Um, run it. And now it's saying argument two is illegal. Um, so just as a reminder, everything but the save in is optional. So if I wanted to, I could just run save in. And if I go into my folder, we now have a test.psd file. That means that we're not going to get the JPEG it looks like. Um, so just as I'm learning this now, it looks like save as is definitely the way we go if we're going to just save the project file. Uh, I was wrong in assuming that this save as function is the same. I guess it might be, but it doesn't seem to be because this JPEG uh, extension is not being retained. We're just getting test.psd instead of test.jpg. Um, and just to confirm, I'm going to run this one more time because it, it did change this original JPEG image to a PNG. So if I run it one more time, I'm still going to get a test.psd. So save in or save as, excuse me, is going to be to save your project, I believe. So mainly focus on the save as and then the location you're going to save it in. And all these other things are optional, but uh, the as copy is a bit important if you want to uh, make sure you have a unique copy. So since that seems to be to save Photoshop files itself, let's move on to document.export documents. This requires uh, the, an export in file, which is just like our save in file. So I can really just uh, reuse that variable. Export as uh, will give us the option to export as illustrator path or save for web. This must refer to the compression it's using. Looking at the uh, guide here under export document, export type, uh, we have export type dot illustrator paths, export type dot save for web. So let's go ahead and do export type dot save for web. And then same as before, we have options, except this time we have export options. Uh, so if I go ahead and click on export options, it seems Photoshop does not have any. Um, perhaps that's just my version or something. Uh, let's go ahead and try this. Let's just try the first two arguments because I believe just the first one is required. Go ahead and run this in Photoshop. And now if we check, we now have test.jpg, which has our file there. All we should have to do now to change uh, the formatting we export this as is to change the format in our file reference. So now if we try and do a PNG file, and we run it, we now have a JPEG and a PNG. And obviously we can then choose any of these other exports as functions. We've got PNG, you know, JPEG, GIF, pretty much everything you need. We could maybe try a TIFF. We could maybe try a TIFF file and it does indeed export TIFFs as well. So to recap, the save as method is really just to make sure you save your project. Uh, don't confuse it being the same exact thing as this menu item that is save as. The save as menu item allows you to save Photoshop files and also allows you to save JPEGs, PNGs, TIFFs, things like that. But think of the save as method as uh, a save method with the option to save it as a copy. That's kind of the important thing. Save as usually indicates a copy, but save as will always in this case give you a PSD file or a Photoshop project file. The export document, however, is what you'll want to use if you want to export uh, image file formats like JPEG, PNG, TIFF, and all you have to do is provide a file location uh, with your desired file name, location, and extension, just like in the save as, uh, but this time it will actually respect whatever extension we give it 
And uh, we also have options like save for web, um, but basically you need the save in or the export in uh, file, and you'll be able to either save your PSD project as an instance or override it, or you can use the export document method to export your uh, Photoshop document into whatever supported uh, image file extensions it supports. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can follow me on GitHub for coding updates, where I upload lots of useful code for you. You can follow us on AE Scripts, where I post awesome free and paid plugins. You can help support us there. And also on Instagram, follow us there for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, After Effects and Premiere plugins, UXP plugins, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube, link for that is in the description down below. You can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. Link for that is in the description. Thanks again for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.